All right, let's be real here. Uh, so I got magic up and haven't really done much with it afterwards. Like it's our really highest skill and yet I'm still using crappy Zamrak robes. So let's get that drip of the chaos druid stuff. I think that at least having something to show for our work would be nice. You know, I mean, the money's just been sitting there anyway, so I, <laughs> what else do we do with it, right? Okay, so basically, uh, and now that we've gotten our drip from magic, we're not gonna ever use it because we're gonna do Slayer and it's too expensive to do magic and Slayer. So, you know, it is what it is. One thing that I do wanna note is that on the green Slayer task, there are two spots that are safe spots and one being here at the bottom and the other being a bit up into these trees. The uh, three dead ones, you can kind of pull him over and you will not have to deal with any hits. I mined a rock and I have no clue what it was for, but a lot of people were hitting it too and it's not usually there. So you know what, here you go. This is the rock. So yeah, we've got 195 regular bird's nest, 127 with uh, seeds, 80 with jewelry, and you know, the rest is what it is. Uh, we're gonna skip forward a bit just because last time I did an update, I said, uh, you know, we'll open these up. It's not gonna be too exciting, but we're gonna open them up just see how much money we make. There we go. All right, so we've got quite a bit here, 2.7 mil. Now it's not a crazy amount, and I wasn't expecting a crazy amount, but I mean, this is free hunter experience, and also this has been free trips just about. There's not much to complain about here. And going forward, we're gonna, over time, build up even more. So, I'm gonna definitely keep up this because I, I'm a slut for the free stuff. Hey, wow, what a familiar place this is. So, we're back to Slayer, which means more dragons in the wilderness. Super exciting, wow. Now, you might say, why are you back out here? Well, two reasons. One reason is because it was given as a task, which is, you know, I know it's crazy, but the other is because we're gonna be killing their cousin. Maybe their uncle, dad, I don't know. But we're gonna do Dragon Slayer 1 and uh, that's the big boy dragon. So I just felt like it was fitting to definitely finish this task off before we go there. Wasn't recording video at this time or audio I should say, but you know, it is what it is. Basically we're on a ship, we're going to the island. It's pretty wild. Oh, uh, guys freaking out, oh no. There's a dragon, uh, he's on fire, we crash land, there's a hole once again in our ship, we're going back up around the mountain because, or island, but we're gonna go past the demons, we're gonna go past everything because, you know, we're just crazy like that, and we're gonna go to the lair. Wow, look at the lair, that's a big boy dragon, we're gonna kill him. So first things first, let's slurp up that nectar, the anti-fire potion so we don't take any damage, climb over those rocks and attack him. So I wasn't really counting, but I think it only took me about three to four shots to kill him, which, you know, that means, that's probably just because I'm really awesome. I don't think anybody has accomplished this sort of thing before, but here we are. It's me, your boy. Of course I did it. Because it's, you know, it's me, your boy. It was at this moment that I was really happy. We uh, we accomplished killing a dragon. We did it for this dude who tried to make us die. But then I realized um, we messed up. We got some experience XP and, and not just some, but a lot. And you know, that... <sighs> yeah, I just sighed all the way from Edgeville to Lumbridge. Um, I dropped all of my belongings. I. I stopped and looked at the rivers, I contemplated life and all of the beauty but also the pain and suffering. I know that there can't be happiness without depression, without sadness, there is nothing that's happy but I really planned on PvP before I increased defense. I, You know sometimes life just gives you the hardest difficulties and this is the hardest one I've had to face so far in my journey called life. All right, it's been about five minutes. I took a shower, I cried it out like any normal person would do, and now I'm wearing snakeskin armor and a snakeskin shield. So, you know, it's pretty cool. At least now we have another step on our journey, which is the defense part. We'll go to 40 defense or something and we'll just go from there. So basically I sucked, didn't record, didn't screenshot the fact that we got the 4D defense to do kind of like a whatever, but we did get to 69 combat level, which is better. Nice. Hey, look, we're at the Aberrant Skeptors. 
Uh, so, unfortunately, right next to me, you can see the chain. That's pretty annoying because it's a way to get up here quickly, but I'm one agility level below it. And that's going to be 61 agility, so now we can use that chain. That was pretty cool. Been really neglecting the quest side of things, and we're almost level 70 with Slayer. We've been working on it. There's the new fairy chick, Sheldrida, or whatever her name is. That is the next Slayer Master. To do that, we need to do Lost City, which I still have not done. So, here we go. First, we gotta chop a tree into a leprechaun. Lie to a monk and say that we have no weapons so that we can go to his island. But we brought runes, so it's kind of like the Christian loophole. Hello, my good sir. Don't worry, not doing anything suspicious here. Let me just go into this cave. Not gonna do anything questionable down here. I'm just going into this dungeon by myself. Please don't follow me. Just gotta kill some zombies so that they can drop a hatchet because we're using runes that are very safe and not dangerous on this island. Haven't really been paying attention to the dialogue in this quest, but it's time to chop down a tree that's probably like fancy and does some sort of protection on the island or something. I don't know, but they don't want us to chop it down. Kill this guardian with ease with our runes once again. And it's time to steal its magical branch. I am really bad at planning pretty much anything. I didn't notice that you need crafting levels for this uh, quest, you know, to make the branch into a staff. So, uh... We're just gonna quickly get those levels before we make it into a staff. It took like 5-10 minutes at most because we just bought the gems. And we only have to get to like 31, but I pushed for 32 because I just bought a bunch of gems in the first place. Might as well use them. So we got our staff. Now we're gonna wield our staff and go into the magical shed to the magical wonderland of beautiful colors. We're not quite good enough for chandelier yet because we're not 70, but we're gonna push for 70 and come right back. was assigned lesser demons and I did not know but there's a little chasm that you can go down and it's pretty sick looking actually. I have been using the Dorgish Uncrossbow this entire time because you know someone recommended it early on I just assumed it was the go-to. After some time using it I realized my damage was kind of low so I looked up online what I should be using. To my surprise people think that the Dorgish Uncrossbow is basically for poor noobs. The way that we should be going now is the Rune Crossbow with Rod Bolts. My max hit has increased by like 5 or 6 and now I feel like a complete dumb idiot. Alright, since we have messed up with the Dragon Slayer quest, I forgot in the past that's why I hadn't done all the free-to-play quests, I guess we might as well just round out the top part of free-to-play so we don't have to look at that part of the quest list anymore. Ignore, you know, the bottom right sleeping me, but let's start with Prince Ally quest. First we gotta get a wig. Next we need to go get some skin paste to lather all over our body. Now we need to talk to the very intelligent blonde lady, Lady Kelly, so that she will let us hold the key to the jail cell, holding Prince Ally, which, uh, obviously she lets us do. She doesn't know, but, uh, we were actually putting an imprint of the key into clay so that we can go out front, and then we put the clay imprint into an actual key so that we can use it to unlock the jail cell. Now we just need to peer pressure the guard into drinking beer, not one, not two, but three, just to get him a little bit drunk. This part's just a little bit NSFW since we're going to be practicing bondage on Lady Kelly. JGX made sure that it was censored though, but nonetheless, we tie her up. Now all there's left to do is make Prince Ali cross-dress into Lady Kelly's outfit and get him back home. Prince Ally rescue quest done. Below Ice Mountain, it's now time to assemble the Avengers. Oh yeah, we're so strong. Because our first guy is Mr. Muscle Man, which we gotta be super strong to prove to him that we are strong. Muscle Man is now on our team, so we need to go make a sandwich. So it's not just any sandwich, it's actually a steak sandwich and we need it to persuade the thief over in Edgeville to join our cause so that we can handle all the traps that may or may not be in the Ice Mountain. Since it's a special sandwich, we don't know how to make it because it's steak and bread, it's a little confusing. 
Luckily, the cook in Varrock is willing to tell us how to make the steak, which is actually you put the steak in the bread. He would have preferred somebody else make the sandwich, but nonetheless, he eats the sandwich and is willing to join our cause. Welcome on board, Mr. Thief. We need to use our good legs to go all the way back to Falador so that we can persuade a drunken dwarf to join our team. We cheat at rock, paper, scissors against the dwarf to get him on the team, and uh, he decides to actually join us because we told him that we won. Okay, we gotta make our way back to Ice Mountain, so we gotta run up the Lumbridge Castle, I mean Varrock, I mean the Ice Mountain door. So getting to the top of the stairs, now we're at the Ice Mountain. Okay, first things first, we gotta get the dwarf to blow up this door. Second step is to pick up the rocks and put them back down. There's not really much else to say about this part. It's the, for the muscle man. Trap man, I choose you. Go in there and disable all the traps. So basically, the team of Avengers was actually using me. And they're not actually trying to get in here for some sort of archaeology reason. They're actually trying to get in here so that they can grave rob, or plunder, or you know, whatever you want to call it. This means that they want to kill me now due to me potentially snitching, which I mean snitches get stitches and end up in ditches. Unfortunately, their plan backfires when a golem sentry defense mechanism turns on, and they have to run away, leaving me behind to fight it. With us saving the day by saving ourselves, we now have access to stealing from her purse. A dwarf comes out from the wall, questioning why we're there, and Ice Mountain is completed. Basically, we got the Avengers put together just so we can steal from someone's purse. So we've messed up our defense and we got some quests done. We've been doing a lot of AFK leveling with strength and ranged and whatnot. Uh, there's been a lot of progress, but at the same time, not a lot for the time frame it's taking me. Going forward, I'd like to get mostly quests done because I think that's the fastest way to progress on this account. Since we're not going to be going the PK route as originally planned, we are now going to be going to main. I think staying at 40 defense though is going to be my best bet so that we can potentially make some sort of build with PK and stay at a low level, but that's still kind of up in the air. I think for now we keep working on our st like basic combat stats and slayer and do quests as much as possible. During this awesome exposition we finished X marks the spot quest, I know. It's a crazy quest, incredibly hard, but you know, we, we got through it. Again, we're going to get a bunch of quests done now and see where we go from there. Until next time.